All right, here we are. Uh, a couple of quick questions for you. Yeah. Um, uh, in your experience, what what's the uh, the next big uh, idea in the pipe in terms of media development? Well, um, I would say that um, in terms of a big idea, um, perhaps you know our inspiration can come from this publication, the Wall Street Journal, mm -hmm. and um, the fact that if we look at this front page, okay, we have a, we have a picture of a bombing in Kabul that happened yesterday um, and we're all aware that Internews is <coughs> very well established in Afghanistan and is, is actually trying to um, I think create the kind of environment where the, the kind of uh, frustration amongst the population that leads to this this sort of extremism um, is no longer possible uh, and we're addressing that through our media development work and we know, of course, there are a lot of other factors that relate to preventing this from happening, but we feel that media development is a part of that, and we're making our contribution. But if we actually look around the, the, um, the photograph, we see that most of the news is about the, the financial crisis, and um, you've, got the, um, you've got Obama getting the, um, the stimulus package through the U.S. Congress. Um, you've then got a, a, straight, a straight business story, and... and uh, then a piece on China and its trade surplus. I think perhaps the next big media development um, opportunity is, is actually in um, assisting the developing world to come to grips with business journalism. And I think that there are two, two sort of big opportunities. One is, is around allowing them to join the dots um, in terms of how capital, how markets, how economies are all connected and giving them some kind of global economic literacy. And we know that the, actually the illiteracy of a lot of policy makers and financiers led to the current crisis. We think if we could actually give uh, journalists in the developing world some proficiency around these issues, it might actually make their own economies ultimately a little bit less vulnerable to these these crises. So, Global economic literacy is one, one I think, um, area that, that we could develop in media development. It's a thematic. And linked to that, I think, is, is green business. We know that climate change is, is not just going to convert um, the energy sectors of um, developed countries. What it also has the potential to do is to reframe the, the energy relationship between the, uh, the developed, and the northern countries, and the southern ones. And not just that, it will actually spur a huge investment in renewable energy uh, in the developing world. And there are very few journalists in the developing world who are able to cover not just green issues, but green business issues. So I think that linked to this idea of global economic literacy is this other growth area and that is in green business journalism. So that's why I think the Wall Street Journal can, can provide us with inspiration. Fantastic. Man, what a riff. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> did that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Hell, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to fund you myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs>